Now let's go to the AC analysis of the BJT differential amplifier. To simplify the AC analysis, we will be replacing the current in the RE with the current source, which is also equal to IE. Okay, let's start with this diagram here. So this is the original diagram. And with this, we can generate a current IE on the resistor RE. And since if we convert uh, this circuit into its AC equivalent with an RE, this will become very complicated. So we will convert or we will replace the IERE combination on the emitter with a single current source IE and that will simplify the AC analysis of this BJT differential amplifier. Now after this, we can now convert this into its AC equivalent, which is this one. So to convert from DC to its AC equivalent, we will uh, short all the capacitors and short all the, or I mean short the DC voltages and open the DC current sources. With this, the VCC is connected to the ground and the current source, IE, is tapped open. Right? So that's how we uh, convert into its AC equivalent circuit. So now we can simply analyze the circuit. The resistance on, on the first and second transistors are now the RE. RE. This is a small letter RE. Some books only has the RE without the uh, prime sign. IC is the beta IB current source that is generated uh, internally on the transistor that is the uh, that is part of the DC to AC conversion of the BJT. Now let's go to the equation. To solve for the IE uh, we'll consider uh, this loop here. The two REs are now in series and we have a loop since we have a P input here. So we can do a loop here and we can generate the current IE and the value of that is just V input over two REs. Two RE because the resistors are in series. To solve for the P output, it's just ICRC. And since IC is equivalent to IE, we'll just have to substitute this and we'll end up with this equation. V out is V in over 2RE times RC. Now to get the gain, the differential voltage gain, we have to get the ratio of V out over V in. And we are left here with RC over 2RE. So this is now the equation of the differential voltage gain. That's RC over 2RE. And since IE is equal to IC, because this is just a, a series, series circuit here. So IE is equivalent to V in over 2RE and it's approximately equal to IC which is equivalent to beta IB. So we can now take the ratio of V in over IB for us to take the input impedance. And now the input impedance is equivalent to 2 beta RE 
these are the equations for the z input and for the uh, differential mode voltage gain. As an example, what is the V out when the V in is 1 millivolt and for B, V in is negative 1 millivolt. We are tasked to find the V out given the V in. So we have to find the differential uh, mode voltage gain. And how are we going to solve that one? It is from the equation that we had just derived earlier. But before that, we have to solve first the IE. That is equivalent to 14.3 micro amperes. Now, let's solve for the IE1 and IE2. That's the IE divided by 2. So that's 7.15 micro amperes. After that, we can now solve for the value of RE, that's 26 millivolts over IE1. So that's the value of RE. And now we can use the equation for the differential mode voltage gain, which is RC over 2 RE. RC is 1 mega ohm, and RC is 3636.36 ohms. So the value of our gain is 137. 0.5 and now we can solve for the V out. The first V out with an input of 1 millivolt is equivalent to 0.1375 volts and for the V out of an input of negative 1 millivolt, the V out is negative 0.1375 volts.